So we've arrived at our accommodation in Hesleyside, Northumberland. And it's exciting because this is the part of the honeymoon that we've planned for ages. Everything else we planned around the next couple of days. We'll show you why. So we're kind of staying in a tree house. How cool is that? So this thing here was is brand new. We built it. Uh, we we built it. Uh, we booked it whilst it was in the planning phase. So we didn't even see a picture of it. And it's been so popular since that it's been impossible to get a, a book in here. So Laura here was amazing. It was like Glastonbury tickets just gone within five minutes. So to get this date, we were so lucky. There will be photography in this video, I promise you. But, oh, this is so cool. So we're staying in a treehouse called Skylark, Hesley Side Huts. And uh, this is... I feel so, I feel right, I'll follow you, I'll follow you. It's your honeymoon, you can do stuff like this on your honeymoon. You know, sometimes you think like the marketing will make it look better than it actually is. Yeah. This is better. <laughs> <laughs> Are you crying? Look at my little makeup puts on. Well, we are a married couple. <laughs> what? So to say that was a pretty good trip. So much so that we didn't actually film anything again. And uh, we've just packed up and we're saying goodbye to this amazing tree house. It was it was probably the best place we've ever stayed. Yeah. 
incredible. Like, it's classed as glamping, believe it or not. Um, but it's better than any hotel that I've ever been to. Um, just five star luxury. Um, there are things that people won't like about it, like the walk up to it, like this. And, you know, the stairs obviously, and there's obviously a, a smell of pine everywhere. But exactly what is not to love about that? It's a tree house, for God's sake, what do you expect? But if you're looking for somewhere to stay, check out Skylark in Northumberland, Hesley Side Huts. Treat, treat the wife like I've done. It's come out of the wedding account, but don't, don't worry about that. Anyway, now we're off to Kielder, Kielder Water en route to our third and last accommodation. Uh, it's grim, it's, it's drizzly. I don't know if we're going to be able to find anything, but hopefully that'll mean at least that the greens will start to pop a little bit and become a bit more vivid. Uh, so yeah, we're just going to have a little wander down to the Kielder Water and see what we can get, see if we can get some photographs. And then it's time for our last stop on the mini moon, on the honeymoon. So, yeah, see what we can find. Oh, but first we're going to a little village called Bellingham and they've got the most amazing bakery that we drove past yesterday, but they were just closing up. Um, so we're gonna raid it this morning for all of its pastries and sugary nice things. So we've taken a walk out to in Kielder Forest and um, we haven't got long here unfortunately because we've got to crack onto the lakes. Uh, this is a little bit like, you know if you've got family coming from overseas coming to London and they plan to do London in a day, you just feel like saying, you ain't going to do it mate, you need a week. That's exactly how I feel here. There's so much to photograph, I just don't know if I'll be able to get anything in the short amount of time that we've got here. But where we are is just absolutely gorgeous. We've got sort of ancient forest behind me. I've got some newly, well, so newly planted, a lot more younger trees than over there. So we are sport for choice, really. It's just a case of just finding something that really grabs your eye and snapping it. But it is uh, really quite, quite interesting. Right, this is the first shot I'm going to try and grab. What's immediately grabbed me is that when I look through the back of the camera, I didn't realise the naked eye, I missed it a little bit. But on this half, we've got so much greenery. On this half, a lot, most of the trees are completely bare. And I think with the path sweeping right through the middle, it's almost like a, it's just totally asymmetrical. I really like it. So I'm shooting with my 16 to 35. I'm going to be shooting at about F, F9, because I don't really want a depth of field issue. Uh, I'm gonna shoot. I'm gonna shoot really wide, actually. And I'm gonna point up. For me, the star of the show is the, the subject is the pathway. Yeah, I think that. I think that's gonna work. Quite pleased with that. Quite like it. Second shot that I've just seen. I think it's going to work. We've just, again, like all photos, when it comes to me, it's path orientated. There's a lovely sweeping path that sweeps through this forest and out towards the where we've basically just walked. And I think if I can shoot this quite wide, but in a portrait orientation, I can use these trees here as like a doorway, almost like goalposts. 
and you can score a goal by walking down through the path. And I've just got to work out where it looks exactly best. But we've got look, we've got so much, so many features in this front to back. Really, we've got the path is the constant throughout the photograph, and we've got these lovely different tones of green uh, with the grasses, um, the uh, the bracken, the pines, uh, the moss on the sides of the trees. This looks really nice. So I'm going to take a shot like that. I'm going to shoot this at what am I at? 20 mil f9. ISO 1000 because I want to shoot quick enough handheld. In fact, I'm going to come down to f6.3 to give me a bit more st stability. I'm going to focus halfway through the scene. I'm going to sh get one landscape as well and get this log in here. Doesn't work as well, landscape has to be portrait I quite like that and also very jealous of my wife who's just taken a photograph and I think it's better than mine so I might flash that one up and you can tell me which is better hers or mine hers with the 35 mil and mine's with the nice and wide 16 to 35 but I know what you're gonna say because I think the same hers is better than mine that smug little face <laughs> Right, last one, I don't know if this is going to work or not, but what I can see here, it looks like someone's made a den. Looks like some kids have been along, or adults, and they've made some sort of little a little den, that's the long and short of it, and it just looks, it looks, looks really cool. There's a couple of fallen logs here in my foreground, and at the end, through the little avenue of trees, there's one pine on his own, uh, and I think that looks quite nice. So there's quite a lot to look at in this picture, and I think, again, if I shoot vertically, it's quite nice. I've jumped onto the 35mm Prime, um, and I'm going to stop this down to 2.8, because I want oh, quite a fast shutter speed. So I'm a bit worried on the other photos that it might be a, there might be a little bit of motion blur plus this renders the colour so much nicer it's, be it's all round it's a better lens so I'm going to touch the focus on that rear pine just going to double check to see if I'm in so I'm just going to zoom in and we are we're in I'm just going to go a little further back so I can get the whole of the denning. So I think this looks quite cool. Does it work landscape? I think it might. Let's try that. And now I'll just do one more I'll focus on the actual den, just in case that one's better. Again, I'll just zoom right in 100% just to double check them in. Looks really nice. I think we've got three photos there. I don't know if they're any good or not, but we've got three photos. That is the end of our Kill the Forest adventure. It's, it's been brief, it's been short. And we're both saying two things. First of all, we need to come back here. We have to come back to Northumberland because there's so much to do and see here. We just haven't had enough time. And the second thing is we're so glad that we've just squeezed in this little micro adventure in because we could have quite easily just gone straight to our accommodation and just got there early and done nothing today. But we've just got a little quick hour walk in bagged a couple of photographs uh, and yesterday as well we did a similar thing in our awesome accommodation they had a forest walk on the estate where the where the tree house is and we both we both just had a, a, a really awesome time it was it was very soggy it was a wet walk we both got some good stuff we got, both got a couple of things but I think this walk was a little bit more fruitful photography wise but that's it for the end of this vlog 
I don't know how this vlog's gonna look because I've, I've just been filming loads of stuff and I haven't even storyboarded it or thought about how this is all gonna fit together. So I hope it does. But from us, it's been, it's been good. We've enjoyed Northumberland massively. Amazing. And we can't wait to return here one more, but our honeymoon isn't over yet. We're now heading to the lakes, the south of the lakes. So hopefully we've got some Lake District content coming up for Yarl on the next video. So I will see you on the next video, whatever that may be about, because we still don't know. I hope you're taking it easy. Hope you're keeping safe wherever you are in the world. I will see you soon. Since I've seen the sun to be bright again